What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Eddie Hearn. Eddie Hearn, along with Julio Cesar Chavez versus Danny Jacobs, is in danger as the NSAC says matchroom boxing has violated Nevada law. It started when the NSAC suspended Chavez on October 31st after invading Vada collectors at his Studio City home. A hearing, a hearing would, as is standard, be set for Chavez to explain his side of the story to the commission, but Hearn and Matchroom simply pulled up stakes and relocated the clash. That's when the organization and Chief Bob Bennett spoke up. He says, based on Matchroom's ongoing dealings with Chavez while he has been on suspension, it is apparent that Matchroom has violated Nevada law. Furthermore, given that Chavez's suspension is based on his refusal to submit to a drug test requested by the NSAC, thus an anti-doping violation, it is apparent that the event scheduled to occur in Arizona on December 20th, 2019 is a violation of the Ali Act. As such, Matchroom is promoting an event that potentially violates federal law. So, of course, we know Chavez failed in 2009 for furosemide. Uh, it's an agent used to mass steroids. So it's, a, you know, that's illegal too. Also, he was busted in 2012 for, you know, for marijuana. So he got busted for two different things. You know, of course, Gabe Rosado, um, could face Jacobs as a replacement to avoid the potential legal issues. So this looks bad for Ed, this looks bad for Eddie Hearn. For one, Eddie Hearn should have knew that Chavez didn't or he evaded drug testing. You know that's just like driving out here drunk and the cops pull you over and they ask for your. Um, they ask you to blow and to take a test and you refuse. That's just as bad because that's an admission of guilt. Like, why couldn't you do that? Just like him, he, he evaded those collectors because something that he was on, you know, these fighters have to understand like, hey, you got to take these tests. But I guess, I mean, it's a no brainer. You, he evaded that because he was on something. You know, if I'm Eddie Hearn, I wouldn't want to be anywhere near that. But then here's the twist. Eddie Hearn moved it to Phoenix. You know, he moved it to Arizona instead of Nevada, thinking that, okay, we can sanction it there. And when you try to pull loopholes like that, it only makes you look bad at the end of the day, simply because you don't want to be associated with anyone that's a drug cheat. I remember how Eddie Hearn was so pissed off that uh, uh, Jarrell Miller, you know, did all those drugs. You know what I'm saying? And he was just so disgusted. And, you know, he's had his views about people, you know, with drug use. And, of course, you got to factor in the deaths, even though any, in none of these guys that tested positive for nothing has a result of killing anyone. That's a good thing. You know what I mean? I think that's the only thing that stops the, uh, the severity of the, 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 um, of the possible uh, ban, you know. I think if someone actually came in there juiced up and hurt somebody seriously and killed someone, yeah, they, they would have no leniency whatsoever. So that's the only saving grace. But it makes, again, it makes Eddie Hearn look bad. Why would you relocate? You had to relocate knowing that a particular thing happened in Nevada. So you're trying to avoid what's going on in Nevada and move to Arizona. You know what I'm saying? So it makes you look sneaky. It makes it look real shady and shitty because now you can't talk about anyone. It's very hypocritical for Eddie Hearn to say, oh, well, shame on Jarrell Miller, shame on uh, Canelo, and shame on all these other fighters that take drugs. But then yet you're dealing with Chavez, right? And you know Chavez, and I'm quite sure he was aware. That's why he relocated. You knew this guy was refused, and you know why he refused. Come on, nine times out of ten, why do you think he refused? He hasn't submitted himself in as of yet to go before the board of Nevada and, you know, contest on why he did or why he didn't, right? 
So that's up to Chavez. But up, but at no circumstance should you be worried about a particular event. And I know he loves Danny Jacobs, and I know that Danny Jacobs is a guy that is also managed, advised by Al Heyman. So he has a pony in the show, and that's one guy that is like he's an anomaly in the sport because he's able to fight, work with two different guys. Now, I understand he promotes um, Danny Jacobs, but he shouldn't protect a fighter that is possibly dirty. That's just wrong. It's just it's not good for business. It's stupid. You know, the moment Chavez evaded the Vada, we'd be like, okay, put um, – Gabe Rosado in immediately. Don't try to move the venue to another state because it's going to make you look shady like you're you're in with it. You know what I mean? Like not only did Eddie Hearn knew about it, he was trying to cover it up and, and still make the fight go on. That will come back and bite you in the ass. It's a such thing of being too ambitious at times. You know, I know he's trying to get Matchroom USA off the air, off the ground, and he's trying to get a lot of fighters into this and in the mix. But then again, don't, be go chasing waterfalls okay so that's something that you don't want to do because when you cut corners those corners that you cut could be illegal and in this case it was you know and it just makes it look bad all over the place you know because now you know Jarrell Miller Canelo Alvarez all these guys can look at you that tested positive because those were the same guys that he had something to say about those guys now they can look back at Eddie Hearn like okay for Chavez Jr really did you try to move a venue for Chavez Jr really you know what I'm saying the guys failed two drug tests what do you think that means he likes being clean he's Mr. Clean now no so it makes Eddie Hearn look bad his reputation takes a dive after this and, you know, and I, and, and if it's best for him, me counterpunching Eddie Hearn, he best drop who he says a Chavez until he can get his business straight. You know, stop trying to save the world and stop trying to do things that are not legal. You know, he's already got a bad stigma for not, not informing Oscar Riva's team that of the findings from UCAD or the BBB or C or whatever, whoever those local uh, drug uh, uh, organizations were. He didn't, you know, so everyone's looking at him shitty. The only thing he has a pony in the show with is, is his money. You know, he never messes people over on money, but all this other shit, no, it doesn't look good. You know, it's just like now July, now it's November, now it, it's, it's something else that it appears like Eddie Hearn's trying to cover up people. You see what I'm saying? But anyway, you guys tell me what you think about Eddie Hearn's situation. What do you guys think? Of course, please subscribe. And you all been counterpunched. Peace.